Judge, today's case is ghosting. These two don't know whether they're coming or going. He's questioning the paternity of the children, and she's always threatening to leave. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of their issues. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Josie Morris and Cecil Morris. Mr. and Mrs. Morris, you've been together for eight and a half years, married for seven, and you have four children together, but you do not want to be married anymore. Mrs. Morris, you are seeking $300 from Mr. Morris for a ring, and we'll talk about that momentarily. But before I do, I will say this, Mr. Morris, you question the paternity of your youngest two children. And we did have a DNA test done on both of your youngest, and we do have those results, and I will have them for you later on in this proceeding. But Mrs. Morris, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, I'm here today because we have been together for so long. We've had four kids, and mm -hmm. I have um, a medical disorder. When I have a children, and I almost die every time I have one. Mm -hmm. And with our last two kids, he was not at the hospital with me. Turn around and look. And that That's, would be, which kid is that? That Do you would remember? be my two-year-old, my the, first little the, girl. The first, first okay, one. first of the two girls. And that's the oh, baby. Oh, man. And my baby's right there. Yeah, cuteness overload. Oh, yes, and sassy. But, um, so he wants to sit there and say that the baby, the 11-month-old, is too big, like she's bigger because I've been, always been small and he's small. But, and our boys are small. He's like, not girl. small. Well, he's tall, but he's thin. But my baby's thick. My baby, she mm -hmm. likes to eat. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Morris, do, 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 you, do you not believe those youngest two girls are yours? I mean, it's not so much that they're not mine, but I mean, if they were, why would, you know, why would things be like they were? She's always starting to leave him because of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, she wouldn't gives you? Me no, she gives me nothing else to, to believe, but they aren't. I mean. What, what makes... What makes you think what she does makes you believe she they're not your kids? The two of them's got my name, other two of them don't. I mean The other two don't because he don't know how to act. So you you gave them your last yes. name? Yes, when I had my first son, I did not let him come to the hospital. I left him when I was pregnant because like I said, he don't know how to act. He act crazy, and I wasn't dealing with it, but so I left. What when you say don't know how to act, what does he do? He he don't know how to control his anger. He don't know how to control himself. Like he don't know how to conduct himself. No one taught him that, I guess. Okay, Mr. Morris. She pushed me over my limits. I mean, her her and her family member. You know, I was headed up to the hospital to see him when she had the baby, and then I, I called to make sure everything's okay. You know, and she's like. Well, her family members say, oh, I got the police waiting out here by the door. But there's and, reasons for that. You know, there's no good, do you no good. Did they around. call the police out of the blue, or were, or were there reasons why they called the police? Just because her family member was, um, I guess, overprotective or whatever with her. She was going to Why did they call me. the police? They didn't call the police. She said that if he came up there, she was going to call the police. But that's because they've had words, and yeah. there has been threats, and there baby. had been you know, not hers. people riding by my house and, you know, stuff like that while I was pregnant, and then you you denied you while weren't I was menacing pregnant. your wife, were you? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were, no. Mr. Okay. Morris. Yes, you were. We can start with the bull. What you all mad about? What's what, what's what's causing all that consternation over there? She let her family members stand in the way. You know, they're my babies. Why wouldn't you let the daddy come up to the hospital? Just step back a little bit and ask yourself: Was there stuff going on between the two of you, or her and her family, that would have made your presence particularly difficult? Not really. Her mama would have probably had a problem with it, but um, I mean, I didn't. You know what I mean? Were any of your family members keeping him away to from the hospital? Extent, because the way we grew up, we grew up in a domestic violence home where there was bad talking, there was, you know, stuff being thrown, and there was people who couldn't control their anger and right. stuff like that. So. They felt like they were protecting me by not going through that cycle again. Okay. I didn't grow up like that. Mm. My dad was okay. a Baptist preacher. That wasn't in our home. Well, yeah. just because he's a preacher, don't, you know, it, it I know, goes the through holes all in levels the wall of society. Not teach by the are you are you a calm and cool husband and father, or there or is there a lot of stuff going on at your house? Can you control your anger? Oh, there's never a dull moment at my house. If the kids ain't driving me crazy, she is. Mm -hmm. So do you get angry easily? Oh yeah. And do you get very angry? Do you get physical? Do you throw stuff? Uh, I tear my own stuff up. But yeah, you tear your own put stuff my hands up. On her. Mm -hmm. He don't put his hands on me, but he dang sure take out a window. <laughs> is, is, is that accurate? And she pushed me to the limit. Mm -hmm. She pushed Correct. you to the limit. Yes. Is, is, is there a short distance between you and your limit? 
<laughs> I mean, it's not just that that that's a Sometimes. big problem. Sometimes. It's he's insecure. Tell me about that. Oh my Jesus, where do we start? Okay, let's see. <laughs> I can be in the bathtub and he when I'm getting undressed to get in the bathtub, remind you I have babies with me in the bathtub all the time. He'll come up there and see bruises on me. Well, my medical dis my you know, my blood disorder, I bruise easily. He'll be like, oh, that was from your boyfriend, huh? Mm-hmm. You walk to the park and you got it on the park, he grabbing you that hard. And I'm like, no. I don't even know how I got it. How'd you get that bruise? Who you with? Right, right. I mean, come on, I'm taking a bath. And not just that, he ain't there half the time. I went in to have surgery. Oh, well, no, let's say, when I went to have my daughter, he was four minutes from missing the birth, and they thought I was gonna, you know, die when I had her. My blood platelets were low, and I had to have her completely natural. He wasn't there. I was across but the hallway getting some coffee. He getting coffee. coffee. He room. was thirsty. He was parched. He mm -hmm. was in labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was at 10 centimeters. <laughs> so then I had the baby. <laughs> I had the baby oh. and I hemorrhaged. And then, you know, a couple days later, they released me out of the hospital, whatever. A couple days later, I'm back in the hospital for an uh, infection and they right. thought I was septic. So, you know, that's always going to die then. He was there 10 minutes. We and he was home. there at night. He was there at night. Let me tell you, he was there at night. We got a home. I got dogs at the house. We was living with a paraplegic lady we were taking care of. I mean, they're in a room. I had to go home and let them out. The they destroyed the house, you know, and then we don't have nothing to come home to. I could mm -hmm. die. You know? Who cares? But that doesn't take long to take the dogs out. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I called him at like 5, told him I was hungry, and he got there at 12. So. And with no food, so. With no food? No food. I forgot about the food. We were trying to get a new car to come home in. Yeah, mm-hmm. But we didn't. And Mr. Morris, when you think about it, you know, are you less than an attentive, loving husband? Did, uh, are you worried about what you're angry about and not worried about what she needs? No. Not, you maybe, don't think maybe in her own words, but no. Can I ask you this? First of all, you can't tell somebody that, that you're leaving every other day and expect him to be secure and expect him to act anything other than half, half in the bag mm -hmm. crazy because... Uh, you know, when you tell somebody it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not safe, their brain is going to believe it's not safe, it's not safe, it's not mm -hmm. safe, and he will conduct his business that way. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying, I think he, I think he can get on one over there. I'm not saying you should, you should put up with a whole lot of stuff, but I'm telling you, if you want to stay and you want the relationship not to be crazy, you can't keep going there to mm -hmm. the I leave part. We're in the middle of the road, and I get out, and there's someone riding by on a four-wheeler. I don't know who it is. I could care less who it was. He jumps in front of this four-wheeler and accuses me of him sleeping together. And I'm like, I've never met this guy. I don't know this guy, so how am I sleeping with him? The question I have for you is, do you behave in a manner that would make you feel comfortable if you went into your daughter's house one day and saw her husband acting the way you act? I'd whoop him all over the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he needs a whooping all okay, over the house. Okay, okay. So you do understand your kids will do what you do or marry who that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It, it, understand it. Does that cause you any concern? It does because now that the kids are getting older, I see, you know, them kind of wanting to follow daddy's footsteps and I'm like, oh. Do it's a not different. a good look, right? Yeah. Do you, are you doing anything about it? Well, I'm trying to show her, you know what I mean, and give her stability and show her that I'm not going to run off or whatever and trying to get her to stop telling me every time something comes around that she's going to leave or, or something like that. And I never thought the kids wasn't mine, but if the kids are mine and everything's hunky-dory, then why are you keep saying you're going to leave and go to your daddy? The kids are yours. She's saying the kids are yours, but she's also saying everything is not hunky-dory. No. Yeah. Just All because, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's leaving because... It's an uncomfortable home to be in. Your, your house needs to be a peaceful, safe place for you. And what she's telling you, incorrectly, mm -hmm. by saying I'm leaving all the time, is like, my home is not a peaceful, yeah, but it's hard place to get out and go make a living. Hang on, hang on. What, it's what, what, hard to get out and go make a living and, and support your family like a man needs to if you're always in the back of your mind saying, oh, well, she's just going to leave anyway or... You know, if this doesn't work out the way she wants it to, then she's gonna, you know. Did she start saying I'm gonna leave out of the blue or did you start acting up first? That's the part I'm trying to get you to. I don't know. I, you I concentrate on her wrong, but you don't need you don't see why she's saying that. Right. See what I'm saying? I got my reasons. Well, get, tell me a few of them. You, okay, so me and some family members went to meet him to get the house key. We're in the middle of the road and I get out and there's someone riding by on a four-wheeler. 
I don't know who it is. I could care less who it was. He jumps in front of this four-wheeler and accuses me of him sleeping together. And I'm like, I've never met this guy. I don't know this guy, so how am I sleeping with him? I'm in front of you. What, are we going to take the well, four-wheeler down the road? No, we have Mr. Morris, what, what's your, your, your recollection of that story? I work with her family member's boyfriend all the way in Savannah. And um, the whole time, the first day, the whole way down there, first night, she's picking up, you know, we're talking, everything's hunky dory. The next morning, she's not picking up the phone all day long. And I'm like, man, I said, y'all brought me down here. You know Josie's packing up right now, leaving me. Oh, no, 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 no. If a woman is leaving you, there's usually a reason. There's something that you did. Do you, can you think of anything that was going on in the home that would make her want to leave you? I couldn't, besides, I could. every, every time I would try to do something for her and get us in a better level in life, she, that's what she would do. I mean, the like, door Every time we had a door, if it's going to be open. Well, tell, give, me, give him a couple of concrete examples. Of why Don't I would just... leave, why I say I'm leaving you, let's see, you punch holes in the wall, you disrespect me, calling me every name in the book, plus some, and that's not right because I, I'm going to do it Well, back. I mean, I give it back but to anyways, you, you, you calling me um, that, So, it? I mean... Not just that, it's I don't, you don't have to stay stuck up my butt and I'm tired of being stuck up yours. I wouldn't be. But you have to be specific because he's not getting it and neither am I. Are you at him all day long? I'm not on him all day. The only time I'm on him is if we got bills to pay and you ain't going 100. No, that ain't right. She's on me, it don't matter. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. Tell me what he does that causes your home to be an unpleasant place to be in. I, I work. I don't clean the house. True that. He don't help. That's yeah, but he's working all day, isn't he? I'm working with him. She's riding in the passenger side. I mean, I, don't get we, me wrong, I appreciate he'll go it, but load she rides in the passenger side. I'm right there with him I'm, loading I'm just it as up. much because it's and my bills, too. We get home, and we I got sit the on the couch. She's cleaning. What, I mean, ain't that... So all of you go to work together? Yes. The whole family? Yes, besides uh, the two older ones that are at school. So when, when, when she's with you all day, is that a good thing or a bad thing? If she, according to what kind of mood she wakes up Well, in. I mean, we share everything anyways. Like, we have to share a phone. We have to share email. We, we share the vehicle. Why? Financial problems or... I mean, it's not just financial, because, yeah, we struggle. We got four kids, but it's more or less... You know, he can snoop on the phone, make sure I ain't talking to my boyfriend that I didn't know I had and stuff. Uh, uh, now, let me ask you... Let me... I'm gonna ask about that, but let me ask you this. Are you at him all day long? I'm not on him all day. The only time I'm on him is if we got bills to pay and you ain't going 100. If you ain't going to try to get it, then why should I? No, that ain't right. She's on me. It don't matter. But you, we're struggling financial, but it's costing us so much money paying for food for the girls all day and every day because they're out there working with us. Why can't we sit at home? What do you think she's fussing about? Is she just, she's just a nag? Is she just... A... Uh, 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 dissatisfied? Just no. nag, 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 nag. If I was dissatisfied, <laughs> look, look, I, I ain't got a bath time, a meal time, I ain't got a bathroom to if the If I take the cigarettes away myself, for 30 I'm minutes, she's leaving. i cigarette to myself. You right? I'm not and, sure what y'all mm, doing when you get home. Crazy. I'm really not sure. Most of the time, I'm cleaning, cooking, changing butts, and getting kids ready for school while he sits there. That's, that's what we do. Uh -huh. Do you not work as hard as you could, Mr. Morris? I wouldn't. If, if she would quit telling me that all the time, you know what I mean? If she would t quit telling you to get a job, you would get a job. No, if she quit telling me she's leaving and... <laughs> I, I mean, wish. I wish that worked. postpartum depression with our third, our, our last kid, whoa. Hey, I always laugh that off. Man, I got three kids. That stuff's a joke. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the only thing worse than being with a woman in postpartum depression mm. is being a woman with postpartum depression. Yes, thank I've you. I've had it. Thank you. You, got, you get to watch Bless it. Bless your heart. She has to live it. It's, it, it. it's worse. It's like saying, oh, it's, it's so hard watching you have a bad time. Huh. She's having a bad time. And then when you ask her something about it, she'd bite my head off. Because you That's don't because know. That's because she's having an issue. Yeah, and see, I could take her, put her in the car, get away from everybody. We drive a quarter mile down the road, and she's just happy as go lucky. I'm like... Well, that's me. Maybe I just like turn radio on and I'm I hear you. Y'all you know scared me. I, where do y'all live? Georgia. Madison. Oh, right here. Okay. Madison, Georgia. You Which know way is it? Which here? direction? 
That way. That way? Wait. I don't know. I've, I've been around that the way? airport three times and then down the Nick, middle of that purple tube. don't ever let me turn that way. Uh-huh. She would have so much fun. Don't, don't let, let me her go lie. that way. I'm going to stay over here. Ah, uh-huh. You would have so much fun. Do you, you really think that these kids aren't yours? In my heart, I feel like they are, but I just want some... Well, I mean, he accused me of having fake Facebooks and everything, so I guess that's where their dad's at, so I don't know. <laughs> well, he owes me a lot of money. Me too. Facebook dad. Is he a good dad? He's a good dad. There's some, like, with the language and the way he acts, our sons are starting to pick up. So I'm like, stop it, stop it, stop it. You know what I mean? Just sit down. But hey, don't... Mr. Morris. They're all mine. I won't go talk about that. If if I were to get you some, I, I know you're gonna tell me no, but if I were to get you somebody that you could talk to to kind of, because you know that that the behavior that you're engaging will trickle down to the next generation. And I'm starting to see that now. And, 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 yeah. If I was to get you some help, would you take it? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I'll go with you. That's as happy as I've been all day long. You don't need to be with him all the time. <laughs> yeah, get out of Sometimes under my you should give each well, other some Sometimes they need a some kick. Of what, some he, of the most wonderful things that ever happened was when they're apart. And you know, who's and, they, under and who? they get back together. If you, you riding around at work with them all day long, I don't know what that's about. I don't either. I don't want to. I don't know what that's about. So you are going to get the help that I offer you, oh, yeah, right? But I'm under her butt, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I just fussed at her. Here, Nick. So when you get home. You're going to work to change the behavior that will hurt all of your biological children, all four of them, because they're biologically yours, all of them. <laughs> She's not cheating on you. She's not running around on you. That's just not what's happening. What I she's telling you is she's unhappy at home. She's saying the wrong thing but she's telling you that she's not calm, cool, and comfortable and at peace at the crib with you. Yeah. That's what she's telling you. Not that she don't want you, not that she don't love you, not that she ain't got, that she got somebody else. It's just that she's trying to get you to do, she doesn't feel secure and safe. She wants you to work harder and be nicer. Now, don't nag him. Help him in his path to better by being cooler. Don't keep pulling the rug out under with it. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave. That's like running in a loop in this mm -hmm. man's head and he's got all these great stories to, to do it. Mm -hmm. do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Do, do, do you, because yeah, it's tried, for you and, and the I kids. I worked really hard on not saying I was leaving. I'm gonna have, work on it, because I'm gonna get something to work on him okay. and then you work on you. I will. And we work on it together. Yeah. Y'all won't kill each other. As That's long as I keep back for. door I'm Off of the back for. porch, we'll be good. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. So he finally knows now for a fact that all four children are here. Do you think that will kind of help him now? Yes, be he will stop father? with the comments also. And we can move forward from that. That's water under the bridge, I hope. You knew those kids were yours all along, didn't you? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, Put no, some no. paper in front of you. You feel okay? Oh, yeah. Feel a lot better. All right, so that's that. Now, what's next for you? We're gonna get you some counseling. Yeah, we get some work counseling. On work on it. That way, my little boys don't, you know, trickle down. I mean, Judge Lynch, you really focus on that point that you got to be a better role model. So, what's running? You know, what's going through your head now? Just trying to get it fixed so she'll quit telling me she's leaving. Follow us on Instagram for additional content from this case and preview our next all-new episode.